so skillful with a wrench. It's not a wrench. What's going on everyone? Our Canadian Tire Motorsport Park again for event number four and event number five at the DDT course. Uh, we're either doing the one kink or the two kink layout today. Uh, the two kink on the back, there's a little bus stop, swings around, and then the one kink is just straight through, you pass the bus. Uh, track surface here is a lot better than the Shannonville. It's nice and smooth. There's only one spot where there's some pavement that's kind of not the best, but it doesn't destroy your lap. It's kind of easy to miss that, so. Uh, I can't remember what I did here last year. I think we were in the the 140s um, we're not gonna focus on that today I think just going out just trying to progressively get better throughout the day I think that's our goal for today um, the temps aren't gonna be as hot as Shannonville which is great so we should have lots of grip uh, quicker speeds we're on our new tires now our old setups right here I still need some tires to drive home in so I don't want to I don't want to drive home on on my race tires I'd rather just keep those for lapping um, yeah it should be a fun day just glad the weather's not 30. It's supposed to be mid 20s, so let's hope we can get some good laps in. That's that's all I want today. Just some good laps. pace with whoever's in front of me yeah but I gotta scrub the tires in last year when I had the new set I remember going out down just literally leaving pits and went to the first turn my back end kicked out I was like oh shit it's like yeah these need scrubbing so they give you a trust spot to put in the car yeah good call up a little bit Can you use your teeth and bite that off for me? <laughs> Alright, I gotta get in there. Actually, I don't. Oh, that oldie. That is gorgeous. That's a good first session. Brand new tires, it feels nice and good. I gotta drop the air pressure now though. 35 in the rear, see how that works. Seem to like more, uh, more air. I'm pretty sure they're scrubbing fairly well. Get a 
try different tire pressures today. I'm going to try 35 in the rear and 34 in the front. Usually I'll do a 33 front, 34 rear, so I'm just going to play around today. Uh, we hit a lap time we hit last year, so that's pretty good. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm not, not going to predict any lap times today. I'm just going to go out there and drive. Uh, I think i got to focus on driving more than uh, lap times. The lap times will come, but uh, driving's got to be first. So, fairly happy with the first session. Brakes felt really great. Uh, tires felt nice, really smooth. Couple, uh, couple moments. I got to turn this off while I talk. A couple moments, I got a little loose. Well, that's because I had to scrub the tires in. Yeah, I still had to scrub the tires in, so it felt uh, a little loose uh, coming out the big swooping, swooping left uh, into the chicane before going down the hill. I can still see that in the in the video. Um, that felt really good. Uh, episode two is now live. Obviously, you probably see it before you see me say this, but yeah, episode two is now live. Three is going to probably come out before the next session, uh, before actually probably our last event at uh, Cayuga. So we have this video, tomorrow's video in Cayuga over the course of the rest of the year. Um, that's all I'll say for now. There's uh, stuff I'm not going to say yet until probably... When should I say it? When should, when, should, when should we tell them? No? After OTA, maybe. Okay. Which is interesting, because... That's all I'll say. It's interesting. So here's the thing. With the solo, if it doesn't record... If it doesn't record, it's not a bad thing. I still have the GoPro inside. So, at least we have an in-car video. We just don't have the data for it to overlay the speeds and all that. So, I mean, we can put down in the corner of where it usually is, like 200 going around a corner. It looks so much cooler. But, no, the, the data is pretty cool. I just got to figure out how to get my brake pressure. Because right now I've got two throttle pressures, which, I mean, you only need one. It's not like two is going to do anything. Brake pressure would be good, but we're going to be putting out bangers for the rest of the year. I'm just going to look it on camera. And if I don't, Tristan will make me look better. <laughs> Fifth push better. Well, got more horsepower, so it should be faster in the straights, right? Tires getting lighter. I walked down this way though, so maybe I'd put actually it's farther. Maybe it'd be faster one day. I didn't even know you were there. That's the whole point. <laughs> Is that what you do at night too in the windows? Goddamn right. <laughs> and that, kids, is how I met your mother. That is the most consistent lapping you have done in this session. All 140 something, your fastest lap. 140. I hit a 130. One, 139. I had 130 and they got up 140. 140.1. So, you know, off by a couple of tenths. So. That's not bad. But everything was in. You went from 140.1 to 140.6. Your fastest lap was your first lap. For some reason, I, I didn't look at the brake on the chicane. I, I looked away. I'm like, what did I do? And then, don't do that. <laughs> How many laps do you think I got in? Yeah, six or seven. Yeah, I could so, tell. 
six. You, the, the second last lap, you, you slowed down. Yeah. Then, yeah, the, the, I stopped. I stopped timing because I thought, okay, so he's not. He's coming off. And then he came around. And session went great. I'm not in my own head like uh, Shannonville. I'm just focusing on driving, watching the track go by me as I go by it. Feel really, really good out there. My lap timer said I hit a 139 something. It, it's not recording, so I doubt that this video will have any, uh, should I gotta turn this off again. I doubt this video will, will have any data from the in-car footage. And I doubt next video will have any data as well, so episode five, I guess. Um, this, this track's just not registered on Ames' website. So far, so good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Last week it was, uh, or two weeks ago it was the ambulance. Ambulance, yeah. Medical version. This buddy uh, couldn't move his car. The engine went on that one. Yeah. Cloud of smoke. First time I've seen that happen in two years. First time I've seen a guy blow up like that. That was big time. Did you get that? Boy. Yeah. yeah. All that smoke? <laughs> Did you cock him off? Yeah, he's just behind the lens there. Oh, okay. Send the next group out, then send this group out again later.
in the 140s. He's in the 140s. One forty point three. One forty point three. Two tenths off. Okay. This morning's run. Yeah, I'm getting no, no. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely no data, so I don't know what my lap times are. It stays on for one lap and just shuts off. So we won't have any in-car overlay this weekend I think uh, but it is what it is it makes me just go out there and drive instead of focusing on what time I'm doing and I'm having kind of having more fun too so uh, I got one lap in at a 140.02 I think it was on my timer the second lap felt a bit faster so I'm hoping I'm hoping I broke into 39 which would be nice uh, but if I didn't we we'll, we'll have one more run it's unfortunate that uh, the Honda blew up uh, I, I thought it was a supercharged Subi that blew up, but driving by it was a Honda, so that's uh, that, uh, probably one of the worst parts of racing is blowing a motor, but it's better than going into a wall, so that's, motors can be rebuilt or bought by a new. It's a little bit harder to fix a car into a wall, so and the two of the worst, that's probably the best out of the worst, so hope he's alright though. Hope he makes a comeback. Here's what it is. Just gotta give that lint out. Ew! That's not making it. <laughs> That's not making oh it. yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. I said to Tristan, I said, they better leave the car there because they better not tow it to the well, pit because when they cross the track if there's oil it's going to drop oil and, and what they do they think well Luke Luke came by to everybody that was up he's like hey just make sure on that last corner like that last corner they've put some uh, dryer down as well yeah. I was like yeah where he blew up he's like no sir not the last corner the, the last chicane that yeah. leads into the last corner I'm like okay but when you go out there it's it's not in the race line on that corner okay. it's Coming to where you come off this, the track. This pit, just nice. There's got to be fluid on the track if you blow your engine. Oh, there's, there's there's tons. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a lot. I haven't I've never seen them to pick up pieces of the car before. No. Well, in a Honda too, you don't. You, I don't think I've ever like seen usually a Honda blow the motor like that. Blow the motor, and you you see. But he sent a rod through the block. <laughs> last event, we had the medical emergency where you your last session got delayed. This event, yeah. you had the car blow up. Your session got delayed. You said I was in the 40s though? You were 140.3. Okay. Yeah, I you're, saw the 40.3 on the first lap. Yeah. yeah. Second lap around it was slower. You're 141, your second lap. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Oil on the track, you're coming in hotter. And then now you see all the dust. So like after my... Oh, yeah. Some of your guys were hitting the dust. I, I thought, when, when I did my 140, I thought that was our second lap already. I was so confused because I... Nice, that's gonna make that section fucking terrible. No, it's not. Radar. Huh.
See the orange? Yeah. He's there around 40 seconds. That's when he was doing his 140. Okay. Still in the 139. Oh, let me let me check the official. That's just my manual timing. Let me check the official one. Yeah, still in the 139. Consistent, consistent, consistent. 139.1. He's talking two seconds off last year. They got him under. They got him 139.0 on the official time. I think maybe the cloud cover maybe helped. Cool the track down a bit. A little more grip. He'll be happy with that. Really happy. Okay. Second lap was a little bit slower by like a tenth. But the last lap was what? When I hit so, 139 so, twice. So yeah, three times. Three times. 139. Yeah. You were in the 139 all three times. Oh, bad. The first lap was like 139.1. Then you 139.3 or four. Then 139 zero. So fuck, I can get 138 then. So I have two. I have two marks. So right there. I have two marks. I got there's an orange pylon. Usually you're there around 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then when we can see you again coming out there, it's around 130, 130. Yeah. You were like 120, you were about the same here all the time, one four, about 40 seconds. So you gain time from that point forward because you're like in one, you were like 127 well, when we What I've been, you. so last year, you go down, down there, like last year was all third gear just holding your red line. Yeah. So after talking with um, Jobon, there you go. Jobon. I have to talk with Joe Ben about what gears he's using. Because like we, we talked about numbers, right? And he's about 30, between 20 and 40 horsepower more. So we're, we're, we're kind of similar in power. He's got more torque, which yeah. is where I lack. But after talking to him about what gears he's in on the track, I thought, well, I'm not doing that. Because he's saying, as he comes down the back towards the last chicane, he's in fourth, takes fourth all the way around until you break to do the loop around the second straight opposite leg. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, well, I, I know fourth gear, I have a longer power band than I do third. So if I'm maxing out in third gear and holding it, now I'm losing time because I've got no more room. Right. So if I quick shift at six, which I start plateauing around 63-ish, the torque kind of drops, the power goes, but the torque drops off. So you want to make sure you can keep your torque to keep getting that power quicker. Yeah. So I've been, I've been leaving it in fourth as he's been doing, 
on the opposite way straight, I've been switching into fourth and riding that all the way around into the back where I shift down to third. That way I have that, that faster torque down in third gear. And then, so last year I was lifting until I hit the corner and going. Now I'm shifting into fourth and I'm flat around the corner. And I feel in third, it felt looser. In fourth, because it's in the lower RPMs when I shift, the torque's there, but it's not spinning there. And then as I get to the, uh, the bus stop, I'm shifting down into, into third again, coming around, shifting into fourth, becoming to the chicane. So I'm mostly in fourth. Tomorrow, tomorrow I used to ride out third all the way, but with where I'm shifting, I'll have to lift at the hill because the bus stop goes up like that. Tomorrow it comes up like that and you can't see the top. So I used to shift gears, wait, and then back on as I'm on the hill to give me that pressure. Yeah. No, I, that felt really good. And all, all that dry there has been pushed away. So yeah. you can drive normal line again, which is what yeah, I was I mean, hoping. You got 1390, so 138 there. Oh, 100%. It felt really good. I'm, I'm really impressed with the way the car's handling for them. The temps are not terrible like last weekend. Uh, and I think the lap timer not working properly is benefiting me right now. I'm just going out to drive. I'm just going out trying to hit all my spots. So. That was you're tough. getting into a rhythm. You saw it this morning where you hit 140, 140, 140, 140. Yeah. Today is afternoon. 139, 139, 139. So you're, you're in. It, it's building a rhythm. Somehow knock off two seconds and just keep driving. On my second lap, I looked. I'm like, okay, we're still going. Don't lift. And I've, I've increased my tire pressure too. Yeah. Usually run 33 front, 34 rear, because the fronts are going to heat up more than, than the rear. Now I'm doing 35 rear, 34 fronts. That seems to work a lot better. Yeah. I'm getting tires screeching. Screeching is not necessarily a bad thing, because I know I'm taking the corner at the, the breaking point type yeah. thing. But with the new tires, they're going to screech because there's more grip. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I'm absolutely loving today. Ten minutes. Group A. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, Group B was ready to go. Where you guys go? They were ready to go. That's amazing. Forty seconds. Thirty nine. Attempt slower. I got to attempt faster. You got to attempt slower. We need a good lap here. But I mean, it's consistent again. One thing that was right. He's hitting the mark. I think he's giving her for this last lap. Yeah, he is. I had picked three marks out for this lap, and he's he's ahead of the third mark I picked. I know he wants the 138. Just 
missed. 139.1. Now that's mine. Hmm. What did they get? 139.09. Thirty-one hundredths of a second off his best time. Mm. It was so consistent. It was consistent. In the last two sessions. Well, all day. One forty-nine, one forty. On his first time out there, then one thirty-nines. The second time he was one thirty-nines this time. I guess his times were just really consistent. Just couldn't pick up that one more ten. All he needed was one more ten. Look at it. What was it? Just couldn't squeeze out one more. What I got? 0.019. Oh, 0.19? One oh, no, one nine. Yeah, a little bit slower. Oh, 0.019. Oh, yeah, 0.019. A little Sorry. bit slower than, than the, the last time. But they were all 39s, huh? Oh, sorry, 0.091. Yeah, 139.6, 139.7, 139.09. Sorry. So you were right there. You need just. No, that was that was great. You're, you're so clear. I mean, that's the most consistent time, time wise. Yeah. Like they were all like. Yeah, I think I think if temp. if the temps were a bit cooler outside, so the brakes wouldn't heat up as much. It was cooler in the second round because we had the cloud. Yeah. No, but there's there's nothing to be mad at about today. No, you got two seconds off your oh, time. Sure. Weather was great. Tomorrow's going to be even good too. Even good. Even, even gooder. Good too. Even gooder. It's going to be gooder. It's going to be even gooder. It's a new word in the dictionary. Oxford. Put it in there. Yeah, it's going to be great tomorrow as well. So if we knocked off two seconds today, we should be knocking off more time tomorrow. So I, I should be, you used to say 132? 132. Let's get in the 20s. Oh, sorry, 132.4. Let's get in the 20s. Cut down two seconds. should be in the 130. The only place that I lift is by the bus stop where it goes up. I lift just before the hill, that way the car's already lifted, instead of lifting out the hill, I can lose it. That second straight, tomorrow, you'll, you should, it, you'll have better, you get a, you'll get a better time from this front straight and the back straight tomorrow just because you got a little bit more horsepower oh, yeah. this year. Over all <laughs> Way better. More cinematic. More cinematic. That's all we need. Well, so, today was a great day overall. Had a little bit of cloud cover with minor minor raindrops coming through cooled everything down a bit so we didn't overheat on brakes or nothing clear skies like this must be nice for a beach but for the track you kind of want a little cloud cover that way nothing gets too hot so last last session uh, i felt like we were fighting the brakes a little bit uh, i don't know if it was the tires gripping when we were braking or if it was just fighting through the heat of the brakes but probably gonna buy uh, a new set of fronts at least after this weekend, definitely gonna pull the tires and rotate them tomorrow. So I'll, I'll definitely see what what my pads are like. Uh, pads should be fine. Yeah, no, a great day. We didn't come out and plan anything in terms of beating times or whatnot. Just try to focus on our lines, driving fast and getting better throughout the day. Uh, apparently, it was very consistent, which is always good. So that's that's the number one thing is being consistent. Nothing like Shannon though. No. No being upset, no being angry. Just some good music to play as well. So we'll uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I think uh, given today's timing with the weather, tomorrow's timing should be just like today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, episode one and episode two. Uh, three should be out within a month, and then this one probably October-ish. So we should probably be taking it into the new year with the episodes, which is good because then. We need to start preparing for next year as well. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I'll see Tristan tomorrow. And you guys will see me in a month or two. Until then, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Go get a beer. <laughs>